greetings to everyone. We are the students of RMK College of Engineering and Technology. Our project is to automate the process of monitoring fish pond water using IoT by Bhavani, Preeti, Aishwarya and Viralashmi under the guidance of Dr. Siarun, Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Nowadays there are many artificial ponds for cultivating fish so it has become a difficult task for the pisciculture farmers to check and maintain the water quality in the ponds. Small-scale farmers who run small ponds could not afford to hire workers for man-daily operations such as checking basic water parameters like pH, temperature of the water, presence of oxygen content and to check hardness of the water every time when there is change of water as farmers need to visit water testing laboratories frequently whenever they find abnormal con So we have come up with a solution which monitors water quality and has an alarming system using IoT and sends the data to the cloud. That measures, records and sent the reading of water parameters to our personal account that is accessible from a smartphone or laptop for 24-7 monitoring of water quality through SMS or through website by measuring dissolved oxygen in water checks the pH value, salinity in the water, hardness of water, and temperature with specified sensors. It allows stable control over all of our critical information and updates all the details from time to time by sending them to the cloud storage and notifying us with the right time to change the water in the fish pond according to the readings. This system keeps the fish healthy using alarming system through SMS to registered mobile number or through application or using website with color-coded data in the software. It also augments farm productivity and achieves higher lifespan conversion ratio with matching nutrition program to the water status. This system also automates the water flow mechanism in and out whenever there is abnormal condition. We can calculate the exact time to run aeration equipment and other parameters and can control it by introducing automatic water flow mechanism. It also helps us to control dissolved oxygen in the water according to the concentration of other parameters. Now let us see our prototype and components used here. This is the outlook of our project. We have used the ESP32 Arduino module which controls and monitors using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth at a very low price and it has an LCD display that displays the status of the water quality. We connected the temperature sensor, dissolved oxygen sensor, pH sensor, TDS sensor to node MCU. It also has a power motor which is used for automating the water flow mechanism. This system is powered by a 1V adapter to the microcontroller and a 2V adapter to the Wi-Fi module. This prototype is connected through Wi-Fi with a mobile hotspot. The LCD displays the values of all the sensors in real time. Now let us see the working demonstration of all the sensors. Firstly, this is a DO sensor. The red light represents the presence of oxygen and the value of the DO sensor indicates one which is in digital form. To demonstrate the working of the DO sensor, we used an IPS solution which contains less oxygen content. The DO sensor detected this and green light appeared on the sensor with the value indicating zero in the LCD display. So by providing an automatic water flow mechanism the water can be changed to regain the presence of oxygen. The next sensor is the temperature sensor. We have taken hot water for this demonstration. When the temperature sensor comes in contact with the hot water the value of this sensor is around 80 degrees. When the temperature sensor senses the water above 60 degrees the water flow mechanism activates automatically and reduces the temperature of the water. Next, we will see the TDS sensor which records the salinity of the water. When the TDS sensor is kept in fish water the value of the TDS becomes abnormal. Since it has a salinity of more than 4000 ppm now let us check in fresh water. The value of the TDS becomes normal since it has a salinity of range 250 to 500. The last sensor is the pH sensor. When we place this in the water the value shown is normal which means the range varies between 6 to 8. If the value goes abnormal, the user will be intimated by an SMS to the registered mobile number or in the website. Whenever the values go beyond the threshold range, the user can view which parameter got abnormal and can take action accordingly. For monitoring the parameters, 
the user can log into the IoT portal by using a specific username and password given to the farmers. As soon as the user logged into the IoT portal the user can monitor the parameters in the website in which the values get updated at regular intervals.